Hi Anna, I've just cottoned on to what your, what your latest posts are on your channel and uh, really interested to contribute um, because I've just started getting my voice out there and I just thought what a lovely platform. So anyway, I'm Mark Rose, I'm an external funding coordinator um, and I live in Surrey and my angle on things at the moment is, you know, this feels like a massive culmination of uh, things that have been planned for, you know, centuries, millennia, um, the control of, of people, and I honestly feel like this is a bit of a kind of an apocalypse type scenario happening in, in front of us, and um, so for me personally, you know, now isolated, like most of us, really just uh, getting a lot of information from YouTube and um, uh, and things have been um, making a lot of sense to me and but when I talk to uh, people who are intelligent, well-meaning, kind-hearted, um, you know, people close to me who I know personally, uh, they uh, just don't see it. You know, and I mentioned to people um, my mistrust of Bill Gates and, you know, people say, what do you mean? I think he's doing an amazing job. So I, f I feel like there's a, a large contrasting happening um, where, you know, I think now it's getting clearer where people are in, let's just say, the, the divide between, you know, slave to society, the system, and free thinking. Well, that's probably a bit broad, but that's kind of what I boil it down into. Um, and for me, it's, you know, I can see this this pairing off of, well, not pairing off, but a division of people. And I feel like I have so much less energy, and in fact, zero energy, to give um, to people who I feel are just drifting away into this acquiescence, um, uh, slavery, and, and it's actually becoming increasingly hard to talk to them about it. Um, and so, uh, whereas on the other hand, you know, I see people um, really flourishing and, um, you know, and for instance, people who maybe have, haven't looked at society in, uh, you know, conspiracy terms, um, you know, lots of people with mental health issues, um, lots of people with work stress issues, uh, you know, I think the working from home, the isolating, the time that people have been allowed to focus on themselves has been really beneficial for a lot of us, and to me that, that kind of also shows part of the contrast of you know, I know this is a challenging time for everybody, but like any challenging time, it's uh, what you make of it. And I can, it's so much clearer that I I want to share my energy and my um, conversation and my time with people who feel that they can um, benefit from this and, and actually bring something to society um, and be part of the solution, if you will. My honest view is that society as we have experienced it through all of our lives is is actually crumbling. You know, I've um, felt this way for a while in that the only rational solution is to get away from the current society as we know it as far as possible and create a uh, a new way of living. And so rather than protesting or, or even going to war, I just would, my plan is to create or join um, a more healthy society, which, you know, it's, it's going to be challenging to avoid the all-pervasive um, one world government that's, that seems to be coming our way, but that is the way that uh, I plan to do it. Um, you know, I wish anybody well who wants to fight the legal system or, or protest. Um, but I see opportunities and, you know, as I say, I see people either getting really tangled up into it and 
further entrenched or just going yeah i don't i don't believe in this and um i don't believe in changing this kind of system from within because you know i know, know enough about the indoctrination etc um so yeah um timing is is a, is a good question and you know i know you were talking about face masks and that's really interesting and i i personally don't um feel the need for them um you know i have a very skeptical view of the whole virus thing and i see the face mask as a symbol and um and so i'm opposed to it but at the same time at tesco i put one on because you know i'm i don't feel like me taking on the system at that level you know getting into a fight with the security guard is is really um worth it for anybody um and it certainly isn't going to change the the policy um so yeah some people might think it's like running away to me it just you know i think you pick your battles and um yeah so uh, thank you so much for uh the the platform and your platform and um i've enjoyed hearing um a lot of the other people speak and and i look forward to hearing some more so i uh, hope everyone is well and makes the most of it and uh, you know i do believe that um humanity and people can benefit um and evolve and improve through this so i'm um you know to sum it up i actually feel really positive in what is kind of a dire um scenario if you look out the window or uh actually out the window it's very quiet if you watch the news it's mayhem um but i feel very optimistic for the future um for people who i can see kind of um follow their own inner instincts um and you know and um so good luck to everybody and uh, thanks again very much anna bye